Aren't you smart? It says milestone. Smile. It's Jesse Milestone, guys. <laughs> that's the most common. That's the most common mispronunciation of my last name. The worst one ever was Molestone. <laughs> so, any other Star Wars fans in this house? Woo! Right there. Woo. All right. Excellent. You guys are gonna appreciate something I say later. Um, but now I'm gonna say this. I live on Moore Park Street. For those of you who don't know yet, uh, Moore Park spelled backwards is Crap Room. <laughs> That's a true statement. Um, another true statement is that I represent Team Vagina, both in my life Woo! and in my comedy. Thank you! Yeah, Team Vag, that's me. I said that once on stage, I quickly realized it was the worst thing I'd ever said on stage. So now I repeat it every time I'm on stage. And I realized that it was gonna be a thing when I got off of the stage and someone was like, Hey, Team Vag, like your set! I'm like, well, I guess I better own this now. So there are t-shirts. I'm not kidding. Teespring.com slash slash team badge. The low price of twelve dollars and zero cents you can own one. Um, yeah, that's why I'm a woman. That's obviously that's one of the minority groups I belong to. I belong to two others. You ready for this one? I am also a Jew. Sorry, Josh, I'm living your dream. Everyone is surprised when I say that. If I had been alive in World War II in Germany, I would have survived. <laughs> hey, you, were you Jewish? I'm Aryan. Yeah. Uh, my other minority is that I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan. Shut up. Uh, um, and actually, we have a lot in common. Jews and Eagles fans, tons in common. Um, we're very, a very small group, but we're very proud. Uh, none of our ceremonies are complete without a great deal of drinking. And pretty much the rest of the world hates us. Especially Texas. Especially Texas. Speaking of minorities, the Special Olympics is in town. You guys seen that? No, they're great. They're really great. Yeah, round of applause for the Special Olympians who are not in this room. Um, but if you had to, they're everywhere though. I was at Universal today, they were there. Santa Monica last night, they're there. I worked a few events where they were at. And they're really cool, really fun, friendly people. But what is up with their logos? I'm looking at the back of the jacket for the guys from the Isle of Man. And it's like, I don't know how better to describe this to you. It's like there's three legs on this. And it looks, it's a, it, it would, if there was a fourth leg, it would be a swastika. But there's three in this weird circle. I'm like, what does that mean? It's just a circle of legs. Uh, and then the actual logo for the Special Olympics itself, um, it's this circle of people holding hands, but they all have six arms. <laughs> Is that it? Is that like when you were like, all right, we're going to design a logo so that when people look at this, they know that we're either special or support people who are special. Well, guy with six arms, that's pretty up and special. Because it's really hard to make a stick figure look like it has Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, guys, I have a very special person in this audience tonight. I have a good friend visiting me from out of town. Everyone give a warm hand to Allie. Yeah. Allie. Yeah. Go Allie. Yeah. Um, we've been having a great time. I took her to the Getty Villa, um, where she educated me on the difference between a vase and a vase. Um, see, a vase is anything that her family owns, and a vase is anything that costs more than $15. <laughs> so I, but the Getty Villa gives me this little douchebag chart so that I know which vase is which shape. I'm like, yeah, that's a calyx. That's a sipping thing. So she was like, hey, Jesse, what's that one? I'm like, I don't know. Let me get out my douchebag chart. So I did, and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> my douchebag chart does not have this shape on it. Point to you, Getty Villa. Point to you. Uh, and then we were looking at the sarcophagus that was small, and I was like, wow, a, a, that girl was little. Um, and this, this, this you know, helpful security guard comes up. He's like, you know, people were smaller back then. I'm like, don't tell me like I don't know. <laughs> I got you. I got it. Thanks, helpful security guard. Um, Allie, Allie most recently lived in Salt Lake City, which is an interesting place if you've never been there. One of the great things about Salt Lake City is that they have... Uh, these crosswalks where you can get a flag to cross. So you get a flag, you get to walk across the street and be like, yeah, I didn't have a flag once because the flags were out. And um, so instead we're, we're walking and this guy almost hits me and he yells out the window. He's like, use a fucking flag! <laughs> Stupidest thing any human being has ever said to which the only response which I gave was, suck my dick! <laughs> Um, so Allie and I also both referee fencing. That's uh, this thing we do together. Um, yeah, it is awesome. Thank you. 
And uh, the woman, you go, you go to these convention centers. It's like being in the Mos Eisley spaceport. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. There's that Star Wars joke, I promise. Um, but you also have to stand amidst a herd of people and yell names of children and try to get them to hear you. And it's really great when one of your fencers' name is NG. Mmm. How do you yell that? Mmm. No one hears you. I need fencers Samuel and Mmm on strip four. Mmm. Nobody hears you. If they do, they just think you have a dick in your mouth. <laughs> but there are great things about this tournament. I room with this lovely lady when I go travel. Uh, she is an ex, a 50-year-old ex-Mormon. She's come a real long way. Um, she really, I walk into my room the first day. She is lying on the on bed, straddling a man with his dick in her mouth. I say, hey, she says, mmm. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm Jesse Milestone. You're a great crowd.